Hello everyone and welcome to part 9 of the Torch 101 series. If you have missed the first 8 parts, I would totally recommend you to go back and take a look at them because these parts are connected to each other. So today we are going to learn about Torch.n. I would say Torch.nn is like the heart of PyTorch. Uh, it consists of a lot of modules and one of them is nn.module. Uh, sorry, nn.module. So nn.module is a base class for all neural network modules, and that's the most important one that you should know about. But there are also a lot of other important ones that you must know about. So, um, I would there's a there's a lot in the documentation, and for starting with PyTorch, you don't need to learn about each and everything. Uh, I have created a list of modules that you should know about and uh, if you go to pytorch.org slash doc slash table slash nn.html you will find these modules and what they do. So first section is containers and in containers you have module that we are going to take a look at today. You have sequential module, uh, you have module list, you have module dict. So what do these do? Module is as I said is the base class for all neural network modules. So if you're building a neural network, uh, you will inherit from uh, nn.module. That's something we are going to take a look at today. So what you do is first let's import nn. So import torch.nn as nn. Now let's, let's also import torch if we might need it for something later. And uh, let's create a class called model. Now inherit from nn.module. So when you when you're creating a neural network using PyTorch, this is something you have to do. Uh, it consists of a lot of functions that you will be using quite a lot. And then define the init function. And then super init. So now we have uh, come to a stage where we can write our neural network uh, but there's a lot of things that we still don't know about we don't know how layers are defined in pytorch right so torch.nn as i said it consists of each and everything that you may need for uh, almost everything that you need for creating a deep neural network using pytorch so um, that's what module does uh, we will also take a look at sequential and module list, but before that I will give you some information about the layers that you can take a look at as a beginner. Like you have the convolutional layers, 1D convolution, uh, 2D convolution layers. So if you're familiar with TensorFlow, Keras, uh, these are same things. Um, and then you have max pooling, 1D, 2D, average pooling layers that you should take a look at. Uh, batch norm, layer norm, LSTM, GRU linear layer, dropout layer, embedding layer, and transformer layer. So uh, if you know about uh, these layers and how to use them in PyTorch, it's um, very easy and uh, you will you will end up like solving more than 90% of the problems just by using these. So um, in the init function, we define the layers. So let's say we defined a layer and we name it layer one. So this is the name of layer. You can name it anything you want. And uh, inside nn, you have, as I showed you just now, nn dot linear. Now in part PyTorch, you need to specify input and output. So let's say your your uh, data has one hundred twenty eight features. Okay, one hundred twenty eight features and uh, thirty two um, is the output for this linear layer. Very simple. And I copy paste it three times. Let's say it's a regression problem. And in the end, you have only one output. And here I can make it 16. Here I have to make it 16. And this one will be 32. So input, output, input, output, input, and output. Now all these layers are the same. So I will just change the name. And then define a forward function. So now this also comes from an n.module. Here itself, 
and input features or let's just call it features okay so now what you have is you can write okay take all those features and pass it through layer one so i will say self dot layer one features okay so now if my input features were of the shape uh let's say 32 comma 128 now why is it 32 32 is the batch size so here you will get uh 32 comma 32 since the output of layer one is 32 and similarly i can just take this here and paste it this is x layer 2 and layer 3 and then i will say return x so here the shape will be 32 comma 1 and if you want to if you want to take a look at the shapes or anything if you want to debug it it's very easy using pytorch so you can just do print x dot size or x dot shape and it will give you this shape of uh, x so you know um, what's happening inside the neural network okay um so that's that's like one of the steps and using this torch.nn and only the linear layers we have successfully created neural network now and if you want to like um do a forward pass so what you can do is we initialize the model so we have the model here and uh, I've already shown you how to generate random numbers using uh, torch. So let's generate some random features. Torch dot uh, rand two comma one twenty eight. So how would this look like? Let's print features. So you see, uh, it's one twenty eight in one row. Then another row has uh, again has one hundred twenty eight features. So here i would say like i have only two samples and um i have 128 features okay um now now we have that and then what we can do is we can just call the model using features okay and it gives me um two rows with one value each great so this is a forward pass and this is what you needed in the end one value each so uh, now you can if you have like this torch tensors you can also check features dot device so it gives you the device cpu and to check the device of uh, the model it's not very easy because all parameter different parameters can be on different devices so um if you do like if you, if you move features to CUDA let's say so if I do features dot two CUDA I will reinit the model and then I'm going to pass the features in the model so one thing I forgot you have to do features equal to features dot two CUDA so now your features is on GPU and your model is on CPU and if you run this you get a runtime error saying that uh, both of them are expected on the same device. So here I can do model dot to CUDA. So this is in place and now you get the results. So now both my features and my mo model uh, is on CUDA. So it's on GPU. And uh, similarly, if you have more than one device, you can write CUDA zero, CUDA one, CUDA two, like this. You can also do CPU. So this is the way you can transfer something from one device to another um, so now we have that and uh, let's go back and here you see in containers we also have sequential so now what does that do sequential uh, can be used like something like okay I will take all this and I will keep it here now similar layers can be combined and together so they can be kept together so i will say okay 
this is my base layer and for the base layer i will define an dot sequential so all these layers uh, i'm going to copy paste okay and i'm going to click here so all these layers will be applied sequentially if i just call self dot base here so you see what happens so now you don't have to call the individual layers um, one by one but you can just call an n dot sequential or you can just use an n dot sequential and call self dot base so now here i i will again copy this and keep it here okay let's run it so you get the same results and yeah it also shows you which device it is on like previously so um this is like our building blocks uh, th this is what we would base the next uh, um, part of the series on and your job would be to go through these layers and just understand what the input and outputs are what the arguments are like that's it and once once you do that uh, it's very easy to understand how they work uh, and you you must already know this from TensorFlow or Keras if you're coming from TensorFlow or Keras or any other uh, library for deep learning. So this is how you define the layers in the init function and you use them in forward function. Um, and we are we have been using torch dot and then for everything. Um, another thing that you should know about is activations. Uh, so like uh, rectified linear unit unit. Uh, leaky relu uh, sigmoid that you can use for uh, multi label classification uh, tanh and softmax that we would use for um, multi class classification problems and uh, then you have the loss functions and that's also very important to know and understand that's also part of uh, torch.nn and inside that you have mean square error loss a cross entropy loss because whenever you're you're building a neural network you're trying to optimize some kind of loss function and these are loss functions which are already available you can also write your own if you want you can use a combination of all these but we will come back to that uh, at some later stage so you have the cross entropy loss you have the negative uh, log likelihood loss you have uh, binary cross entropy loss with logits and uh, binary cross entropy loss so these are the loss functions that you should know about and it's very simple and easy to understand them um, and once you know about these loss functions these activations and uh, the layers that i've shown you you are able to do more than 90 percent of uh, deep learning problems very easily and here you have to know about module and sequential is also something that you should know about but it's very optional and module list the module list is you have uh, these modules as you had in sequential uh, but these are kept in a list and module dict is simple like it's kept in a dictionary so it's very similar um okay uh, but when you use sequential you can apply all the layers um, and um, your features will pass through all the layers but in module list it doesn't work like that so yeah, you can index them so this is the very basic introduction to torch.nn and uh, once you have uh, read all this perfectly uh, it's very easy to uh, go from here to building a neural network to uh, distinguish between cat and dog images or anything um, so that's where i would end this part for today and if you have any questions, please write in comments. If you like this, then please like and subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much and goodbye.